Behind me right now is the Arlington Plantation. We've done an investigation here in the past. Last time that I was here, there was a silhouette, it looked like a little girl in the basement. Tonight, I'm gonna be spending the entire night chained up to the wall in the basement until sunup by myself. Colton is gonna go to a hotel down the street. And I'm gonna have the keys with me. And we're gonna have communication through walkie talkies, so wish me luck. We're gonna go set it up, set the chains up, lock me in, and then Colt's gonna head to the hotel. Warning, this video contains scenes and moments that are not for the faint of heart. These chilling images and hair-raising encounters may leave a lasting impression on you. Haunting your thoughts and dreams for days. View, 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 viewer discretion is advised. This may truly be the scariest video we have ever filmed. Ever filmed. Ever filmed. I just hope that there's nobody living in here. Honestly. Hello, hello. Anybody's in here? We're not the police. We're not here to rescue, we're not here to harm you. Just checking out the property. Oh, we got a couch in here. This is new. That's troublesome. What, like somebody stays here? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if someone comes here and either sleeps here, this might be somebody's in crib, bro. Seeing a couch was definitely unsettling because a lot of places that we go to are abandoned, and with abandoned buildings comes the real possibility of squatters, homeless people, or even people on the run from authorities. I'll be, I'll be down here all night. Oh, I'm nervous, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. If somebody shows up here while I'm chained up to the wall, you're gonna have to hurry up. I got a knife on me, but still, yeah, I'd rather not. You know? Yeah, because uh, chain to the wall is basically like being cornered. Yeah, exactly. What's back there? Uh, I remember there was like this weird broken down kitchen out there. I definitely felt the feeling of deja vu being there again. Even though it's been four years, a lot of the rooms looked untouched and unchanged. Hello, hello. Anybody here? What is all this junk? Oh, I remember this from the episode. Yeah, there was something living up there in like one of these nooks. Damn, this place is rough, huh? One thing that's definitely a bit eerie, and I remember feeling this while we were on this investigation, was the fact that four years ago, I heard a very distinct humming noise while I was in the basement, and it sounded like a kid kind of humming a melody. Hey, mute it real quick. Like, solid four now. Mute it. Dude, I swear to God. It sounded like a kid humming like something, like humming. Stairwell to the basement is right underneath here. That is where it gets weird. Oh yeah. You ready? I think so. I'm probably gonna need both hands for this, so I'm gonna put my phone up. You're all good. I think I'm a 
little bit heavier than you, so I'm gonna be real careful. Yeah, take your time, bro. Once I actually went down to the basement, the realization that I was going to be trapped down there the whole night started to really sink in. Never did I think I would be here. Oh, fuck. Where did you see that thing when you guys were here last night? I think, I think it was in one of these like caved in rooms recently. It's kind of hard to remember. It's been so long, bro. This was it, dude. Way back here in the worst of it. This is where we saw her. Yeah, it was like a girl sitting with her back turned like right here. By far the scariest thing that happened four years ago when I was at this location was there was a phantom figure we captured on camera. Are you a child? Can you tell me or make the temperature go to five? something in the room. It looked to me like a small dark figure sitting Indian style with its back facing towards us. And I noticed it briefly in the shadows when we were filming, but when we went back and looked the second time, it was not there. There was no way to explain what we had captured. Well, is this where you want to do it? You tell me. I mean, I guess. We said it would be the same room that she was in, so... And we came up with this brilliant idea. I guess I could be... Well, I obviously want to pick the clearest section. I think I'm going to make camp right around here. You ready for me to get to work? For everyone that says that you're full of shit, yeah, let me make sure. You have the keys, right? What? You have the keys, right? We haven't lost those yet, right? Oh fuck. Yeah. Just you got it. Let me see it. Let what? me just really see that you have the keys. It's gonna be a long night, bro. Yeah, I will say so. All right, so uh, you're gonna be watching the cameras? Yeah, I'm gonna be fucking on it. Oh, well, let's do a radio check. Before Colton left, he set up a few more static cameras that he would be able to watch remotely. One on a REM pod upstairs, one on a hallway above the basement, and one in front of the front door facing a motion detector in case anybody were to actually enter the building. If like police roll up or something, I have to get over here quick with the key. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> All right, ahead. you got a light on your way out? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, well, good luck. Thanks, bro. Thank <laughs> you. 
be nuts. Check, check. Can you hear me? Check, check. Can you hear me? Yeah, we good? Yeah, we're good. I was just making sure this thing's working before you dip out. All right, I'm out of here. Good luck, bro. You don't know what it feels like. You'll never be able to understand just by watching this video. Completely alone, chained to a wall in a basement of an abandoned building surrounded by woods, hearing the car drive off. It was absolutely horrifying. So I just got to the hotel. Um, it is a little bit more than a 10 minute drive to <laughs> the basement where he's chained up. He's already hit me up like four or five times letting me know that he's like hearing stuff, he's feeling nervous. I'm kind of tripping. So I'm getting ready to set up the live feed right now. I'm hoping everything functions how it's supposed to so I can monitor what's going on. Are you looking at the feed yet? I'm hearing all sorts of weird shit going on down here, bro. I am like literally just about to set it up right now. Yo, I'm hearing noises and stuff down here. Uh, the rep pod already went off once. Are you seeing anything weird on your camera? Nah, it looks good down here. There's a little delay from the mic, but that's it. The REM pod is a cool device because it detects energy within a very close proximity. You literally have to be like right up on it in order to make this thing go off. So if it's going off and there's nobody within a foot or two away, there's something there that can't be seen. Okay, well, if there's something here that would like to communicate, I'm not going anywhere. I have a EMF detector here. If you'd like to light this up, let me know that you're here. I could put it on the ground and you could come close to this if you'd like to show your presence. Or you can go next to that device over there again if you'd like. I'm not here to harm you and I hope that you're not here to harm me. I'd just like to know if, uh, if there's the spirit of a little girl that's still here. Is there a little girl still residing within this building after the fire? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello? I remember at one point I heard a really loud bang, almost as if someone or something were in the air ducts of the basement. Residing within this building after the fire. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello? It could have been an animal, who knows, but immediately after, the REM pod starts going nuts. Hey dude, I just heard a fucking loud bang. Can you please check the cameras? If you got it already set up. Cameras alive. I can see everything. I don't know, I'm fucking tripping out, man. What the fuck? <sighs> OK, 
Okay, that was a pretty good indication that you're here with me right now. I'm gonna turn on all these devices so that you could communicate with me if you'd like. Here, Excel. Here, Excel. So you could hear me, huh? Mark Rot. Mark Rot. I'm not sure what that means. Trapped. Trapped. Oh, the fuck. Were you trapped Peace. too? Child. Whoa. Peace child and it's not saying peace like peace as in a peaceful it's saying peace like a piece of a child it was a gross feeling like knowing the backstory of this place it seemed way too spot on to be a coincidence it kind of reminded me of the basement at the scratch house trapped peace child that is a fucked up sequence of things for the obvious to say while i'm down here So hey guys, if you're enjoying today's video, now would be the perfect time for you to hit that like button down below, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss the next upload when we drop it, and let's get this video to 50,000 likes so we can move on to the next episode. Much love. Nothing. I thought I just saw a little activity on the REM pod, so I kind of zoomed in. How you doing out there? Claustrophobic. Hearing weird shit. Like every five seconds. I'm fucking hearing something. Well, hey, hang in there. Um, yeah, you already crossed. You've been there almost two hours now. There was a point in time where I started to doze off a little leaning against the wall on the floor and I was awoken by this really weird, weird sound. I know you guys could hear that. I don't know how to explain it, but it was like this echoing, pulsating noise from within the building. And it kind of sounded like voices that were a bit muffled. It was hard to tell. And then I also heard footsteps above me. I know you guys could hear that. Truthfully, when there wasn't any activity, it was just long, boring moments sitting in the dark in complete silence.
After sitting in silence for maybe 20 or 30 minutes, all of a sudden, Colton says something to me that made my heart sink to my stomach. Listen, bro, I don't want you to freak out right now, but there's someone or something in there with you. I just saw something pass that camera in the hallway. What do you mean you saw something? Like a person? I saw something interfere with the camera. I can see like the outline of the doorway that's behind it, and then it just went black. I saw something move by in the thing. The motion detector went off. All right, bro, but if there's someone here, I'm not fucking... Hold on. Yeah, chill out. I'm getting in the car right now. I'm gonna run down there. I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'm hearing footsteps and shit, too. Uh, try to hurry up. I'm running down right now. I'll be there in, like, ten minutes. At the time, I didn't know what he saw, so all these thoughts were running through my head of like, someone being in the building, I was trying to be as silent as I possibly could, I went lights out with the infrared, and that 10 minutes waiting for him to get to the building felt like the longest 10 minutes of my life. I'm here, coming down. Case. Case. We've learned that we always have to put our safety first, always, and the thought that there could possibly be other people in the building or even a chance of me getting arrested just for being there, it, it was in our best interest to just leave at that point. All right. Bro, I don't know what, but I just saw some After getting out of there, we went back and reviewed the footage, and this is what he captured when he thought someone was in the building. We've played it back several times and it could be a person, possibly, maybe. Maybe the camera was glitching, but it seemed to be more transparent than anything. Now, do I still think that that place is haunted? I do. I heard things while I was there that were pretty unexplainable, uh, voices, footsteps, the devices were getting quite a bit of activity. It definitely seems like it's still a hot spot late at night. And the fact that we caught something, whether it was a person or an apparition, is pretty much yet to be determined. Personally, I think that what we captured was not a person, but rather an entity. Ultimately, that's up for you to decide. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you click this link right here. We did an investigation two weeks ago that'll definitely blow your mind. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, stay tuned for more cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoy the ride. See you later. Peace.